Hello Internet! Today I'm going to be using Python to solve a problem I've run into. I was looking around on the internet and I found uh, something I wanted to download. And it's a podcast called Pure Homebook and they list all their podcasts on a web site and it just has a list of mp3s. So this is, these are the ones from 2006 and I want to download all of these. The problem is there's no zip file, there's no where I can find to download them all in one go, so I'm going to have to download them like this. Right click, save link as, then save it, and it, it's going to take way too long. So we're going to have to use Python. I'm going to download it like this. If you're a total beginner to Python, you should be able to follow this tutorial because I will run you through every single line of code and everything you need to do. You shouldn't have many problems. Um, if I can do it, you should be able to do it. Uh, so with this website, there's a few things we need to first note. Um, firstly, this is dead simple in the fact that all the links that we want to download are just listed there. The only thing is that there is one link here to parent directory, and that isn't an MP3. So at some point, I'm going to have to write a condition to ignore that link because it doesn't have, it's not an MP3 link. Um, and in the case of, let's say, you had like a, a website similar to this, where you have uh, a list of documents and you wanted to download only the PDFs, and there were some Word documents, so they would be .doc, and the PDFs are the ones you wanted to download. You'd have to write a condition to only pick the PDF. So we can do that, and I will show you what that is when we get to the code, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. So without further ado, let's start doing some coding. The first thing I have done is on the desktop, I've created a folder called File Downloader. And in terminal, we want to navigate to that thing because I've also created a file called grabfiles.py, which is empty at the moment. I'm using the Atom file editor to do that, to uh, edit, make the Python basically. So, command space, type in terminal, press enter. Then we can either type in what we want, where we want to go, or we can drag it. So, first thing you need to type in is cd, that stands for change directory or something like that. And you can either type in where you're going, so users desktop, uh, Shane desktop, and then file downloader. So you can do that, or you could do CD and then drag the folder to work that. Either or, whatever floats your goat. Um, but the very first thing we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to install some modules. Um, we're going to be using two modules. We're going to be using Beautiful Soup, and we're going to be using a module called Requests. So we have to install these. Now, if you're just running the standard terminal that's on a Mac, you're going to first have to type in sudo, sudo, and that gives the the following command: administrative privileges. We're going to have to type in our uh, password after we enter this command, um, but we need to do this to you pip install uh, on standard terminal. So type in pip, so and then install, and then bs4, beautiful soup4, and then press enter and enter your password. Um, mine's going to tell me I've already got it installed, but we'll do it anyway. Um, pip install is just the way Python uses to install modules. It's really useful. If you use any other li uh, languages, you'll find this is really, really useful and easy to do. So we've installed uh, Beautiful Soup 4. The next one we're going to want to install is requests. And there we go, already satisfied. So next, play the terminal. And uh, we'll come back to the terminal later on. Next, move back to Atom. And we're going to start coding. So we've just installed some modules. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put them in to our file. So we're going to need some import statements. So from BS4, we want to import uh, beautiful soup. Then we're going to import requests. And then from requests, you want to import get. We don't need to install get because it's, it's coming from requests. Um, a thing to note as well about the web page, which I haven't uh, mentioned, is that these links uh, for the MP3s, uh, if we look down here at the uh, console, they're just forward slash shows, forward slash 2006, and then whatever one they are. Um, and the problem with that is that the link isn't doesn't have the domain. So we need to make a variable that has a domain in it. Um, so we can then add the two together because what we're going to eventually do is iterate through every single one of these. Now if each one of these only returns 
part of the URL, i.e. only returns everything after purehumbug.com. We need to have purehumbug.com saved as a domain, uh, as a variable. We're going to call it domain because that's what it is. And then we're going to say equals um, purehumbug.com. And that will come in useful later. And I'll show you where it's going to come in later. The next thing we want to get the page. So we're going to go page is equal to requests.get. And then we want to go back to Chrome and get the page. Now, here is where we could have multiple pages. If we want, I know this website does have actually multiple pages of these podcasts, but we're going to keep it simple. We're going to only use one page at the moment. So get the page. Then we want to get the HTML from that. So we're going to call, make a variable called HTML. I'm going to say page dot text. Okay. Then we're going to use beautiful soup. Um, we're going to say pass two arguments. One is going to be the page we just created. The uh, sorry, not the page. Sorry, HTML. Uh, and then we want to tell it what parser we're going to use. So we're going to use the HTML path. If you don't know what that means, don't worry too much. Just just follow along and be fine. Uh, then, so what what have we got now? What have we got? Well, we've got we've got all the HTML. In the in a in a variable, so we just need to get the links. Okay, we need to get everything everything that's that's a a href. So if you know HTML, a is the the tag for links. So we want to get all of those. So we're going to use a for loop for link in soup find underscore all, and then we're going to select the a tag. We want to make it so, but what this is doing is it's going to get every single link that's on that web page and it's going to assign it to a variable called link for each instance of the uh, for loop. For sorry, each iteration of the for loop, we're going to create a variable called URL and we're going to say link.get and then href, href, whatever you call it. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we now have to think about the condition. So the very first link that's on this page, or if we had more links on this page that didn't that didn't satisfy the requirements and didn't have an MP3 in it, we need to basically go. Uh, this doesn't have MP3 in it, therefore we don't want to use it. So what we do is we'll say if uh, dot MP3, or you could do dot PDF if you're getting PDF, or dot doc if you're getting dot docs. Um, is in URL, then we want to do something. If not, then we want to do something else. So else, and the else thing we want to do is just skip over that. So we want to just say continue. Okay. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do, I think, is going to just print the URL just to make sure we're getting the right things. So we can just cancel it if, we're, if we've got it wrong. Uh, file name, and we're going to say here um, that this is, and this is another thing I have to point out as well. Um, the file name is here. The actual text is the file name. Now we could just get the text from the link, which would be one way of doing it, or we could do it um, in the way I'm thinking of doing it. I don't know why I'm thinking of doing it this way, but we could just say that we want to basically get rid of everything in the link up until the uh, before uh, the basic this this sort of bit of there here this this path that's in each link, we want to get rid of that. Okay, so I'm just going to do it that way because I don't know. So URL.split and we're going to select the bit we want to get everything up to here this point basically, we're going to get rid of everything before this appears in the string. Okay, I'm going to say one and then we're going to say one. Okay. So now we have a file name and the file name is exactly whatever it is on the website with open I'm going to use that file name I'm going to say so write bytes as file and then we want to say response get and then we need to use that domain that we created earlier add it to the domain so we actually have the right thing the right link we're getting and we say file write response dot content so we're going to write those bytes to a file and now that should all work correctly so if we want to come back to our terminal we're going to say 
because we're already in the directory we're going to say python uh, and I call mine grab files python grab files .py. press enter and there we go so that's the first one it's getting the first uh, show and if we move to the finder uh, it should show that we have now have a file here and as this goes on each of these files are I think around 50 megabytes so you can see it's now working um, and that's what it's going to do so hopefully this has been useful in some capacity you should be able to use this for various things you can modify this script however you like um, but it will get all your files for you so uh, thank you for watching